Unexpectedly, the enormous severity of COVID-19 and unimaginably huge death toll has openly uncovered and magnified the pandemic fault lines in global medical education. It has become very obvious not only to the eyes of the top medical experts but also clearly visible to the general public. It uncovered many fault lines in the ways in which the ecosystem of healthcare systems, medical education institutions, and professional organizations prepare the workforce for our national and international needs. Despite the expertise and commitment of individual physicians, the pandemic highlighted the many unsolved problems that are threatening the health of our patients. Non-communicable epidemics of chronic diseases, such as heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and substance use disorder, contributed to pandemic morbidity and mortality enormously. Many families have lost both parents in one go, leaving behind hundreds of thousands of COVID orphans. Physician geographic and specialty maldistribution left communities in inner cities and rural areas, with insufficient numbers and types of physicians. In advanced countries like the United States, the pernicious endemic state of health and health care disparities resulted in dramatically different levels of morbidity and mortality in communities of color. Globally, the COVID-19 pandemic has made us all aware that we are living in an era of syndemic conditions, where the interaction of serious health conditions with challenging social problems leads to catastrophic outcomes for many communities. As a timely alarm, thanks to COVID-19, the pandemic occurred at the end of two decades of increasing calls from Johns Alwyn in Research Center together with many international medical entities to redesign medical education. Many of these recommendations proposed strategies relevant to the pandemic response and these fault lines, a focus on greater social accountability, an expansion of the canon of basic sciences to include social, behavioral, population, and data sciences, adoption of systems improvement as a core clinical skill, implementation of competency-based, time-variable training along with more equitable and effective assessment strategies, reconsideration of core tenets of professionalism to incorporate relationships beyond the doctor-patient relationship, prioritization of interprofessional education, Redesign of the transition between undergraduate and graduate medical education OMA and GME. Finally attainment of diversity, equity, and inclusion in all aspects of the educational program. However, without a clear, defined, nationally accepted urgency to change, the uptake of these recommended reform strategies has been sporadic and change in medical education has been incremental. In the absence of such a vision, the benefits of change are viewed as less compelling than the risks of change. Probably only the pandemic death toll is highlighting the urgency to change. The pandemic introduced elements of scarcity, risk, and uncertainty that threatened the established systems of AMA and GME. The resulting disruptions to medical education not only validated the need for many of the incompletely adopted reforms outlined above but also demonstrated the power of urgency to transcend change resistance. Collectively, medical schools, residency programs, academic health systems, national licensing and accreditation agencies, and professional organizations recognized that, if they did not change, Millions of people would die if another pandemic or bio-warfare of the same magnitude. It is this sense of urgency that catalyzed all the stakeholders in this ecosystem to change, and together they can transform the landscape almost overnight.